Just a little video on my uh, long Savinelli pipe lighter that I acquired a while back. Uh, when I got it, it uh, definitely needed some work. Uh, thanks to uh, ARS Lighter Repair out of uh, Henderson, North Carolina, they're putting her back into A1 operating condition. There's my invoice for the repair work. Yeah, just in case you want to come across your mind how much that repair cost, I'm just going to show you here. Item description, Sadinelli long pipe, they repaired the valve system and replaced the igni uh, PGO ignition. And you can see the total down here, they charge $65, that's usually the maximum to do it, but you're going to pay about $10.95 for shipping back to you for a total of $75.95. Anyway, uh, I got a couple of photos that I took earlier. I actually had this lighter in storage and uh, I emptied out all the butane. I, I got a hold of them and I asked them uh, what's the best way to store this because I don't smoke and this is just like a collectible lighter to me. Uh, they said store it without any gas in it and uh, put in basically it, it wouldn't hurt to put some you know like if you put it in a case and, and I use uh, I use this as a storage case, okay, for my lighters. And he said put some of this silicon gel in there to keep the moisture out. So, anyway, advice from guys that repair lighters, don't store them with butane in it. If you got a flint lighter, uh, take out the flint, okay? Otherwise, over a period of time, you know, the flint can go bad, and then next thing you know, I don't know how many, you, you've got a jammed up flint tube, and I don't know how many lighters I bought, flint style lighters that had a jammed up flint tube in it. But uh, this is a beautiful lighter. These long pipe lights are uh, come with a removable long tamper. All right. Um, this particular lighter here, you know, I got Savinelli pipe lighters. Don't get me wrong. I got a parts lighter here. It it doesn't work. It needs a new PGO to it, and I'm not going to spend sixty-five dollars send it in. I'm just going to keep it for a parts lighter. You know, uh, but uh, what really amazed me about this lighter here in particular is the solid feeling and the quality of build that I really, you can really notice just by picking it up. Okay. Now I just filled this up and used it a little bit, but it says 179.6. It was 179.8 when I filled it up, okay? So, but before I filled it up, it weighed 173.9, okay? So that's a total of 5.9 grams of butane this thing holds. That's an impressive amount of butane. And you pipe smokers out there has got pipe lighters and got an idea of what they hold and how, how long it'll last. They'll know that uh, this ought to last quite a while. Now, uh, I struck this earlier 50 times in a row and it lit up every time, okay? This is an excellent lighter. Uh, but, you know, man, the weight on that, you know, empties, 173 grams, you know, the... The heaviest lighter I got is a uh, is a is a brass made petrol lighter that I got out of China, and it weighed a hundred and I think it was a hundred and fifty grams. Let me look, cause I got one actually right here. I bought it's brand new. I haven't even used it. I have modified the uh, put a different wick and stuff in it and. You got gas in it, but that's 155.8 grams, you know, right there. And and that's a solid built lighter. Now, if you ever want a, a petrol lighter, I recommend getting on uh, and Googling brass lighter and checking these out because uh, they got an O-ring in them. 
that are fairly water resistant and uh, when you fill these up it's, it's a zippo style but when you fill these up they got a little o-ring around the top so you shut the lid it, it doesn't get air to it but when you fill them up you can put them down for months on end pick them up and not use them all and they'll still have a, a lighter foot in it so uh, you know that's pretty amazing to me but anyway back to the, the Savinelli here this is just uh, my opinion if you like PZO butane lighters, you're a pipe smoker, and you, you know, you, you got a lighter that doesn't uh, hold near enough butane for you, I highly recommend picking one of these up. I never realized that this thing would be as heavy as it was because, you know, you can look at it here compared to this one here, and it's it's just a little bit under twice as long and just a little bit wider than your regular Savinelli pipe lighter you know and when you put this this one on the scale here this one weighs let's just say 77 grams because uh, this doesn't have a filler valve in so let's just say it just weighs uh, 77 grams okay then you got this one here you know, 179. So you got a lighter here that's definitely built reason. And I think the reason this is so heavy because this is just a quality case. Now I've got another Savinelli pipe lighter that I keep. Uh, it's this size, but it's it's about three grams lighter than this because the case on it is of a different metal and it has the lacquer finish on it. So I think they used a uh, different type of metal on it. So, you know. This is this is built very well, built very well. You know, all these Savinelli pipe lighters, you know, as far as uh, this goes in, in this style here, are built extremely well. There's 40 clicks right there, right around that area. And this thing just keeps on operating. Very, very nice lighter. Let me see if I can zoom in on it maybe a little bit. Get you a little closer on it, maybe without going out of focus. Very good shape. Got a little tarnish right here. Used to be a little tarnish, but... Uh, you know, I polished them a little bit, but I don't go crazy on it. I polished this here. This here really looks good. I just used one of these polishing cloths. You can get like an auto store. And uh, if you want to polish a lighter like this, I just get one of these. I, I suppose you can get something softer if anybody doesn't agree with this. But this is kind of a rough texture. It's not going to show any what you call line marks you know because it, it's not uh, smooth or anything but I just got one of these rags and I just went back and forth a few minutes like that on each side you know and it cleaned up because this has got this is a silver plated finish because it does tarnish so got to be a silver plated finish to it you know and I got a silver plated finish lighter it's marked silver plate but this one isn't but uh the lighter just just shined up beautifully. Beautiful lighter. All right, guys.